first step is we can say I am to you, take my headache on easy. Going through this first map, I think Hennig is going to take a confident win because, as you can see from yesterday's performance, uh, the SDL completely got destroyed on easy. So, this is going to be a unintended easy win for Hennig. But just as I say so, DSDL is having a score lead, even though he just lost the combo age is still early in the song. Headache missing again with a third of the map left, which is the easy thirst. And I would say that could be enough time for DSDL to make a comeback if it keeps up the combo. And as I say so, he just dropped the combo together with Headache. There isn't enough time for DSDL to come back. This is going to be a point for Headache. As we can see from the difference on the result screen, Hennig having 9 misses, which is not too bad, but the SDL has 26 misses. This is a huge difference when it comes to skill in easy. I think his future opponents will abuse this weakness if he doesn't check this thing out. And for the second map, we are moving into Imaginary Like Justice. A uh, casual mod map, and nobody is going with Hidden, unlike yesterday. If I don't recall wrongly, I think DSDL had a single droplet miss and a full combo.
just going past the first spinner, it seems like Hennig just caught maybe one more of those bananas. So if it comes down to a full combo, the SDL has to hope that Hennig either misses a droplet or a combo. Oh! That's not a good look for Hennig with about slightly less than a third of the map left but DSEL having such a consistent performance on this map How is he gonna make a comeback? Having just gone past the fastest, fastest section of the song, and nobody have missed yet except Panic with that really odd one miss, which should have happened. It is still possible for Hennig to take things back if DSDL just completely messes up this section but he's looking really solid on this map. And as I say that Hennig finding himself another miss at the 20th last combo giving the point back to DSDL.
moving to the third map picked by Headache. Flashlight NMK Solar Hard. As of now, everybody's still holding up, and Hennig just found himself a miss. But the map is still early, there's still a lot of time for ESL to make a crippling mistake. And just as I said, he, he just he just missed that 400 combo. This is a golden opportunity for Kenny to make a significant comeback if he just keeps up this performance. And the score has flickered back to Hennig and he missed again. There definitely isn't enough time for Hennig to recover and this point is going to go to DSDL. DSDL is able to find an early break point from Hennig. Only map 3. Going into map 4 on DSEL's pick, uh, Igor, I can't pronounce the name but I know, I know the map, yeah, this is a Nomad pick. DSEL just found himself an early miss, giving back, uh, giving the score lead, score lead to Hennig. Still really early. Hennig putting up a decent performance by keeping his 100%. Oh, Hennig 
missed. And ESDL is coming straight back into the game. Panic once missing again and the lead is growing bigger and bigger. Both players having made through the hardest one eighth jumps while Hennig found himself a miss right after the hardest part. This is not looking good for him. And Hennig missed again right after his, I believe, third miss. From now on, it's only the easy patterns. I don't see the SDL finding any trouble with the map. With uh, an about 70,000 point lead, it's very unlikely for Hennig to take this point. Going to the last spinner and with the result screen popping up, you can see that DSDL only have one miss in the very early part of the map, a Hennig having 12. It's quite an obvious choice that DSDL had made a good decision. Going to map 5 on Hanek's pick, the only hidden that is not banned from Course K playing with fire. To be honest, this pick is really hard even for players who are good in hidden due to the very abrupt empty flow sliders connected with rapid 1-8 cross screen jumps. Yes, the L finding an early miss, but that doesn't really matter if he still can keep up. And he can't! He just practically skipped like 
50 combos, he's skipping even more combos. This is looking disastrous for the SDL. If he's gonna continue performing like this, it's gonna be his complete destruction. No wonder he banned two of the three hidden maps. This is such a crippling flaw in his, in his skill set. Panic finding a miss, but so does the SDL. Panic finding a miss again, and the SDL finding a miss again as well. There's no way the SDL is going to win this point. And good that he actually banned two hidden maps, otherwise this is going to be over really quick.
Oh, what? So DSDL just got kicked from the multiplayer lobby because Bancho thought he was spamming, but it was just his internet being bad. So it seems that DSDL having gotten his silence will have, we have to wait for 4 minutes before his silence is completed. However, regardless, we already saw his pick, which is a hold angel on half time. If I were a headache, I would just quit the lobby right now and go practice the map once. And then when DSDL returns, I'm gonna be more proficient in the map. As of now, we are still waiting for the SDL to complete his 5 minute silence due to a false detection by Bancho. And I think he's coming back real soon. He just messaged me saying his silence is completed. And there he is, finally we can move straight into the map. 
on a half time hold angel. I personally think that this map is somewhat manageable if you have practiced it at least 20 to 30 times. But I don't know if Hennig have ever thought of practicing the halftime pick. Oh, and surprisingly, DSDL was the first person to find a miss. A headache missed too, and DSDL missed too, but it's, it's, it's still in headache's favor. DSDL having found a miss again with Hennig sitting on 350 combos, slowly building up his score lead over the slow part. DSDL missing then that. What a section. Oh, a headache had a huge miss. It seems like he failed, but he can recover easily. The SDL2 fighting so many misses. I think. DSDL just gave back the break point he earned with such difficulty. Both players missing at the same place and this is definitely over in Hennig's favor. Wow, going from a half time to AR9 DT rain. How does Wad adjust his reading to prepare for these situations? I think Hanning is going to take this one confidently. Because no same person is going to switch from half time to AR9 double time if he's not well prepared.
Panic with just a minor lead in combo and in score but DSL missing when he shouldn't miss and he missed again. Panic also finding a miss but both players are always missing at the same place and DSL having found early misses It's gonna just give the victory slightly to Hanek Having, having just a little bit of scoring advantage and a little bit of combo advantage if the SEL hadn't missed once or twice more then this could have been his map but it isn't because Hanning has taken the win forcing the SEL to play on his match point even though it's the SEL's pick next Is the SDL gonna be faced with yet another tiebreaker? How many tiebreakers does this man has to go through? Going into what could be the last map of this match and what could be the last map DSEL is going to play in this tournament, we have Havoc. This is an intelligent pick because Hanek being a hidden player is definitely, definitely going to find more difficulties with this normal pick than DSEL. So far, heading with only an early miss, this could be anybody's game. Oh no, no, DSTL found himself a miss. And miss again during the hyper jumps. The SCL is falling apart right now, perhaps under the pressure of tiebreaker. 
But he's not even gonna get a tiebreaker if he doesn't win this one. Wow, what an amazing comeback from Hanek! Taking it from 1-3 back to 5-3. Five, 5, yes, 5-3. Five, Well, I really, I would really appreciate that if we have a tiebreaker and it seems like even though Hanek just won the match officially, but we are just, we are playing it for showcase. For those who had just came over, Hanning has already won 5-3 against DSDL with an amazing comeback all the way crawling back from 1-3 until he got his victory. We are playing the tiebreaker just for fun. Ooh, both Hanek and DSL missing at the same place. They could have missed any time earlier or later, but somehow the same place. DSDL having a minor lead as of now could change with accuracy and spinners. Both players still keeping on their combos, reaching to 600. And Hanek just dropped. For what did he drop? That is such a weird miss.
panic missing so many fruits during the hard jumps while DSDL just breezed through the entire section. Still half of the map remaining. SDL having gotten his more than a thousand combos is in a commanding lead over Hennig with about 35,000 points of difference and there's only one hard section remaining without the SDL crumbling completely this is not gonna work out fine for Hennig. The SEL did find a miss though, but I'm not sure if it's if there's enough time for Hennig to do anything about taking this opportunity to get a win. And surprisingly, Hennig came back in the last 30-20 seconds of the entire tiebreaker, which is more than 5 minutes. So it seems that Hennig won this match convincingly with or without the tiebreaker with a really nice 1000 combo exactly. Well, and it concludes that Haddock have won over DSDL. I believe there's still two more matches, but they are in three hours, so I'm shutting down the stream. And it will be really late for me too, it's like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. for me, so I don't think I'm going to stream anyways. So I guess we'll see each other next week, or rather this week, on Monday, we're having a map pool showcase for LO stage for all those who have, who have advanced. Please come over and watch the map pool showcase and check out the schedule if it is available at that time. 
So um, I guess see you guys around. Bye.